Hey guys, it's uh, Leif here from uh, ATEC Office Technology. Today I'd like to show you how how you can print on uh, different size paper, like a like a custom size, like a uh, complement slip, like the one I've got on the screen here. Um, so if we have a look at this uh, document, I'm just going to show you how this uh, has been set up in uh, it's a Word document. If I go into the page layout paper size. I'm just going to show you the custom size th for this uh, particular uh, document. It's set up as a 21 centimeter wide by 10 centimeters height, and it looks like that. And to print that to the Konica Minolta Bishub, we're just going to jump straight into it and go File and Print. Select your printer in the drop-down list and go into Properties. We're now going to have a look at uh, this setup, so we'll set it up as single-sided. Uh, I've selected what a color on there, I could pick grayscale if it's a grayscale document. Uh, this is the important part here, where you see the original size. So if I click on the original size, I set that up as a custom size. So I'll click on custom size, and you get this custom size settings box up. Uh, and I'm going to type in the custom size there, so I'll type, I've already typed it in here as 100 millimeters width by 210 millimeters length. Hit OK on that. And I'll leave the paper size as it is there. It'll say same as original size. And I select the paper tray for my uh, complement clip. Uh, which is the bypass tray, and OK, and print. Now we're going to go to the printer and I'll show you the uh, second part of uh, this uh, tutorial. Hey guys, now we're uh, at the printer. We've sent our uh, uh, with complement slip or the custom size uh, print job uh, to the printer and uh, if you have a look at the screen here the BizHub is now asking us to insert paper in the bypass tray or select paper tray. And you can see the size of the document is reflected there, the 210 by 100 millimeter so custom size that we've just uh, set up in the Word document. Uh, and I'm going to put that into the bypass tray. You can see there's question marks on the bypass tray because the bypass tray is empty at the moment. And if you have a look over here, uh, I've got the complement slips ready to go, so they're going to go face down in the tray. Put those in there. And back on the screen here, you can see the complete button is now enabled uh, or highlighted. And I'll just press complete, and the print job will now start. And you can see, just like that, we've now printed on a blank uh, complement slip the, the Word document that we programmed in previously. 